Hello everybody, it is now official. The Toronto Maple Leafs have extended Austin Matthews for a four-year deal with an AAV of $13.25 million. Wow, this is one of those things where you knew he was going to get paid and you were just hoping that the deal would get done if you're a Toronto fan. Before the start of the season, he was set to be a free agent after this season. And now they're going to be able to keep this very young and skilled player, one of the league's best players in Toronto for another five seasons. What are my thoughts on this exactly? Well, first of all, he is getting the back, one of the top paid NHL players. And I'm sure that, you know, the money will be different each year, but undeniably one of those years, if not multiple of those years, he will be the top paid player in the NHL. Looking at his career already, he has 299 goals in 481 games played. So since his rookie year, this is according to the score, there has been not a single other player that has scored more goals in the NHL in that time. I mean, this is a guy that has won two Rocket Richards, who has won the Calder and is on this Toronto side that has been a really good team for a minute. Uh, he's cracked the 80-point mark three times in his career, and his career high before this was 60 goals. I don't know if he'll ever pass that because that is such a massive mark, but he has hit 40 goals or more five times in his career. It's just really impressive. I remember watching his very first game in the NHL where he scored four goals against the Senators. My buddy and I, we were best friends growing up. He's a big hockey fan as well. We literally were watching it at our houses, separate houses, but we were on the phone because we were just in disbelief and the disbelief seems to be going on even further. Matthews, again, is a player that is top tier, that is certainly, in my opinion, generational, and I know that a lot of people will hate on him because he is a Maple Leaf, but the point remains, this is one of the best pure goal scorers in the league. He can score from a variety of areas and will continue probably to do that through the remainder of this deal. Now, it's not a crazy long deal, so I think that the money is absolutely justified. You could almost argue maybe a longer deal, but again, you're getting Matthews for an extended four years as this group tries to get back to it and then try to go deeper in the playoffs because the main thing with Matthews, despite the fact that he has had a really good legacy in his time in the NHL, has been the fact that there's not been a lot of playoff success. Finally, last year, they were able to get through some of that playoff struggle where they ended up going to the second round, ultimately ended up getting beat by the Florida Panthers, probably should have gone on to the Eastern Conference Final, and this is a Leaf squad that, in my opinion, has had a few chances where maybe they could have gone on to the Stanley Cup and won it, uh, considering that there's been other teams that are far worse than some of these Leaf squads that we've seen. So now that you're getting the money, you know expectations are going to continue to go up even more for him. I really don't know what to say because, again, this is a guy that is a two-way stud that is going to provide so much value, not even to the team in terms of on the ice, but off the ice as well. Uh, celebrities wear his jerseys, fans buy his jerseys. He's on arguably the biggest club in the NHL in terms of market, in value, in reach, in the brand, and he is undeniably one of the faces of the league. So to see him stay in a big market like that, probably a big blow to Coyotes fans if you're actually thinking, you know, maybe, just maybe we could get him. But realistically, you knew that he probably was going to stay in a market that was A, going to pay him well, and then B, cared about hockey. Toronto is that market, and he is going to be, I think, one of those iconic Toronto players that you look back at his career and say, wow, this is one of those Leafs legends, which is impressive considering how old the Leafs are. I'm hoping that it will end in a Stanley Cup, if not multiple, but at the same time, I'm very aware that this Toronto side obviously is underwhelmed in that time. So even if it doesn't, you know that it's going to be a crazy good stretch for him, probably more personal accolades, and we'll see if the team success follows. Anyway, that's all. What are your thoughts on this deal, this massive deal, mind you? Please leave your comments down below, and also please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe, have a great night, and you go love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.